that there is almost a cult-like following for the over-the-top choreographed fighting brand is enough to be the absolute worst. Never mind the KKK or all those brainwashed cults. If this guy treats WWE fans as a religious group. Show continued after he died in the ring and the audience never knew he had passed. Lies. We all know JR told the live television audience that Owen had passed away in the most somber terms possible. Also, it's hard to believe that the audience wouldn't have known something was wrong, considering they all saw Owen Hart fall from the rafters onto a turnbuckle. Never knew he had passed. Um, yes they did. Those who attended the event clearly saw him fall a long way down and land on the turnbuckle or ropes, one or the other. Either way, anyone who would see something like that and then see a bunch of medical personnel show would know that he was either severely injured or dead. And that's just for those in attendance. For the rest watching at home, Jim Ross made it pretty clear that Owen Hart had died. 15 years later, WWE decided it would be a good idea to air the event on the WWE Network. But they edited out all of his appearances in the event and- Well, obviously it's on the network. It was a WWE pay-per-view. The same way that Chris Benoit's matches are still on the WWE Network. They aired it on the WWE Network because it was a WWE pay-per-view. If the WWE Network is playing Chris Benoit's matches from his career, then they would air this. I'm counting this as a sin because I'm sure they could have figured out a better way to honor this man's memory. They did. Dumbass. A better way to honor this man's memory. In the previous sin video this one, I mentioned that he was too lazy to research and made an assumption only, but let's not forget that they did have a better way to honor his memory. They paid tribute to him the next night called Raw is Owen. Did you not know about that? Right back at you, bitch. It was later discovered that the then CEO was involved in distributing the drugs to the wrestlers. What's up with then CEO? In 1991, Vince has been the CEO since like 1984 or something. Not only does he not mention Vince McMahon's name, but he addressed him as the former CEO when Vince has been CEO since 1984. So that was a fucking lie. Despite the fact that this was definitely happening and probably still happening. And once again, we see how little research he's actually done into this video when he says, probably still happening today, even though any wrestling fan knows that there's a really strict wellness policy in place for the last five years. Probably still happening. This dumbass obviously doesn't know about WWE's wellness policy and how strict they are about the usage of steroids for years. Which gives the show almost as much credibility as ABC's The Bachelor. So, wait a minute, television shows are scripted and they have to be entertaining to a mass audience? Whoa, fuck. And comparing wrestling to The Bachelor? Oh my god, you might as well compare The Bachelor to any other television show ever, you fucking idiot, man. Hey buddy, get this. I heard a rumor about this TV show called The Walking Dead. As it turns out, all that stuff you saw with the zombies was not real. And apparently those guys were following a script. What's a script? You're a liar. Too hottie. Legend. Scotty too hottie. Scotty too hottie is a legend, motherfucker. Are you mocking me? Stop it, you just did it again. He's trying to copy me.